what is up guys venom bound here and today i'm bringing you titanfall assault uh it is a well new game for me the game actually was released in may of this year and it was released to uh in the philippines and in australia now you can download it through an apk um this is a it, to me it's uh, it's a awesome game it's uh i feel like this is going to be the competition of Star Wars for Serena. Now, I feel like I played a couple of matches and I feel like if for Serena keeps, you know, uh keeps doing what they're doing basically, I feel like this game is going to be the one to take over. Now, the only thing that's different is the fact that you get heroes in Force Arena. Here you don't get any heroes. It's just you get a squad and you have your titans. Which would be considered more of the heroes. Because you know there's, there, there's different types of titans. You have the Ronin, the Atlas. You have the Ogre. So I'm guessing that would be your type of hero. So uh. Boss interrupted me. Thanks boss. But uh. <laughs> But, um, you know, I just feel like this game is up, up and coming. And when it releases, uh, when it releases officially, I feel like this game is going to be on the rise. And, uh, I feel like this game is going to, is the gameplay style of this game is like command and conquer type almost. Just, uh, let's get into a battle. Let's just, uh, see what we can do here. Um, actually, I played a couple of matches. Not very successful because, of course, it's, it's my, uh, first time playing this is actually my second time playing another thing there's gonna be guilds in this game also i i feel like that that it's a i'm making one of my own so whoever sees this and they're interested i i think i believe you have to be a level five to uh be in a guild i'm, I'm not there yet but once i get to level five i will most definitely be making a guild so let's see i'm gonna drop Let's drop my grenade up here, here comes the and let's just drop him over there so he can go and take that turret. Um, let's put a turret here, just so the turret could, uh, alright. So as you can see, you can look around and see what's going on in the in your area, see who's uh, protecting what, what you need to take, how many troops they're dropping. We also got rocket tr uh, rocket grunts. You can also drop this here. It's uh, like missile calls. Boom. I don't know what just happened there. They just disappeared. So let's drop more here because they're, they're on our way to actually take that away. Now that line, that bottom line on the bottom, that is considered our resource line. Now, it's the same thing almost as uh, Force Arena, but it's just, it's called... Uh, and for certain, I think it's called energy or something like that. This one is called a resource. So right now we're losing 28 to 16. We need to take those two, uh, those two points, which we haven't taken yet. So I'm going to drop this guy here. Hopefully, you know, we can do something. He's going to go around and try to take. So we have him taking C right now. to put you have to actually strategize the way you put in your cards you can't just throw your cards down and expect to actually you know uh get somewhere if you don't put them down in the right area so uh right now we took seed they're they're about to take uh they're about to take a which they have they took they take an a i have my bruiser i have but here comes the atlas and I'm gonna throw an ogre out there also to take the spot. So we should be dominating now. Take over the take over the areas. Let's put a turret here to take these guys out. Put the rockets. I'm gonna put a guy here to actually take uh throw rockets there. Come on. Those guys are down. 
Let's put another turret there to take these guys out. I'm going to put somebody over there to try to take C. Right now it's 61 to 69. So we're actually not doing so bad. We're not doing too bad. We need to give our guy here some support. Charlie secure. Alright, so... So yeah, we take we got all three spots now. It's tied up 73. Well, we actually take the lead. So let's actually throw a guy here. 78, 70, 72. We've taken the lead. Let's throw the Titan, the Strider um, Titan here. Let's put that missile to take that out. Or at least give it some damage. Let's put the turret here. Hopefully we can we can do something here. Let's give them some help. Give them some help. We've won. We've taken the first game, and that's how this game is basically played. If it's, it's strategy, you have to think. Uh, you have to think of where you're gonna put your cards. You have to. You have to. Um, you get you get XP for all of the troops that you use. Um, honestly, to me, I feel like. I'm going to be playing this a lot more than I do for Serena just because this is more of my type of uh, game style. I love shooters. This is basically a right up my alley. So I feel like this is going to just, it, it already has taken my attention, but I'm not going to stop playing Star Wars for Serena either. But like I said, the whole topic of this video is that I feel like Star Wars for Serena is in trouble because of these upcoming games that are having the similar game style and... You know the, the the only thing that I that I say that Star Wars has on any game out there is the 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 fact of nostalgia, the fact of that if you were watching Star Wars when you were a kid, this is what you had, this is what you want to see in a game. You want to play as your heroes from when you were young. So, um, the fact that they have that they're working on prequel stuff and you know trying to bring out, I hope to see maybe Yoda or or. or or uh windu or uh you know uh as, as, um basically characters that you want to see you know what i mean anakin or, or, or skywalker before he became darth vader it, it but the thing is this game right here is uh to me i feel like it's it's gonna be a really good game so if you go to the market, which basically will be like your daily rewards, you get three rewards uh, daily. Um, you have your common cards, which would be like the ogres, like the 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 basically your regular titans or your regular grunts or soldiers. Then you have your uncommon, which is the reserve strider, uh, which is um, then you have the uh, smoke strider, which is a rare card. Um, then you have these uh, tokens here that you can buy basically mini transactions in the game um, I think for some of them you can use credits to unlock like see you can have 200 credits to unlock the the sturdy catch uh, the colossal catch and then you have the titanic catch which uh, you can use a thousand credits to, to unlock um, now your squads um, for what I see here you get three squads I can level all these guys up because these are the guys I used just now in that uh, battle. So he's now a level two. So let's level up our, our strike our striker. Now they do look a little cartoony, but that doesn't really matter. Once you're playing in the game, they look just as you would in a regular game. I think they look amazing. So. Um, so we've leveled them up. Now you get units. You got your second squad. Where you got to level up my grunts real quick. So now the my grunts are level two. So and then you get your third squad, which you get like your uh, you have your strikers, basically the same cards, unless you want to edit. So let's say I wanted to edit something else, uh, something out. Right now, my average supply level is at a 2.8, which is great because that means it's a low level 
it's a low level usage but I wanna put my uh, pyro bruiser which uh, I can level up right now actually so I'm gonna level them up basically carries around a flamethrower and let's say I want to put compare him to anybody on my uh, thing on my deck now so let's say I want to compare him to my my regular stim bruiser now he has 630 hit points which is the same they have the same speed the attack area the attack range and the attack area goes to the bruiser just because I believe uh, hmm. so you have you the, the, the only thing that the the pyro bruiser has on the the two things are the robotic ops and the human ops so the, the thing is it has a death effect and a, and it um it also is a pilot and a human same thing it has the capture effect so basically the bruiser can capture points instead of going around and going for kills so the point of the game basically is capture the points so i'm going to keep my uh my stem bruiser instead and but there's also other cards that you can use now like see i have the scorched to uh titan that i can level up right now which is basically another fire um type so let's say i want to compare my scorch titan to not my ogre not my ogre let's compare him to let's compare him to, yeah well right here we compare him to our atlas we have more hit points we have more attack area and then we have more human ops so and this was a tank this was anti-heavy I feel like we could benefit more from the Scorch, so we're going to hit swap, and then he becomes part of our deck. Um, now, part three, which is basically our Arc Sentries, Arc Sentry Online. which is leveled up. We have our Sentries, and I think that's all we have right now, our Sentries and our Grunts. Now, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to leave everything the same way. We're just going to go back to the main. And with our new uh with our new deck we're gonna actually go and do another battle. Now if you guys have any ideas or any or, or whatever you feel like saying or telling me that I you think that you thought I was wrong in, please just don't be afraid to let me know in the comments below. You know, I um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. All right. You know what I mean? Let's so, uh, let's try to capture really quick. So, I'm going to send my striker right over there to capture our point. Send him to defend. And I'm going to send him to try and take C. So, it's basically a... Okay, so we, we basically are already taking... We took we took C already. We took A and now we're actually about to take B. So <laughs> that's simple. We're gonna put a sentry here and we're actually gonna put our rocket troops uh rocket runs right Oh what that is in the wrong area. I should have put him put them somewhere over here so they can uh see. But I'm gonna put some my bruiser here because I got somebody coming. And I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so let's put them there so he can defend and he has some help. So now our Titan Falls are ready. So let's get our Titan Falls down. So let's get our Striker down. Or a Strider, I'm sorry. Let's get our Strider down. Now let's get. Oh, our base is under attack. What? That's crazy. How is our base under attack? I probably did not see him. So let's put. Now that that's all, that that we had that. Let's put that there. A sentry there. Let's put. Let's take. Let's take that down. That's hurting our. All right. So now we're we're in their base now. 
We are in their base. Let's put the rocket troopers there. Nobody over there. We're good so far. We're winning 78 to 0, guys. 81 to 0. Alright, so they're taking. Let's, uh. Alright, we got our supplies back. Now, let's bring out the ogre and let's bring out the scorch. And, guys, we won. You see how easy that was? When you. It, it was so easy. We, we're, we're on a second win streak. We're going to go for one more. We're going to go for one more. Uh, hopefully, we can, uh, you know, repeat the same process and repeat the same outcome. So, let's just hit next. Continue. And we're going to go right back into it. That will be our last match of the day. And that will conclude our video. Uh, let's see here. All right. So, let's go right into it. Let's go right into it. What is this? Uh, so I'm guessing this is your divisions. So now you get a reward. I guess every time you upload your division, you get a reward. And what did I have? I have 69 credits. I also have one reserve strider. Three arc sentries. Uh, an atlas titan. Two atlas titans, actually. Two grunts. Uh, common attack um, card which is my missile and that's that's what I got from that so that's actually pretty good that's not bad so my video did not upload all the way through or not that it didn't upload it didn't record all the way through uh, it recorded partially and then for some reason the video froze the file got corrupted for some reason but I know I, I, I did another match like I said I was gonna do I thought it was recording it wasn't um so as for uh as for right now i'm gonna just leave it like that um i'm gonna keep uploading more games uh more gameplay of this up you know what i mean uh as um on the daily on a daily basis i will be making a guild as soon as i hit uh level five um but whenever you guys whatever you guys think about this game please let me know in the comments below uh, I feel like this game, like I said, is going to take over from what Star Wars is doing, uh, in my opinion. But if you guys think otherwise, please let me know in the comments below also. You know, I, I would like to hear your opinions. But as for right now, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you like this video, hit that like button for me. Uh, share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And as for right now, Venom Bound, out.